Hey y'all, I wanted to make a video showing how a fuse works and how a light bulb works. This is going to simulate a light bulb, your standard incandescent type of light bulb, which inside the here you got a filament, which is pretty much a wire around, wound up like that. It's in a vacuum, so it don't burn up. And how a fuse works, pretty much run too much current through a wire. I'm putting 12 volts through this little piece of wire here. This coil will start glowing red. And that's how a light bulb works. The reason they have to have glass because in order to get this to glow bright enough, like a 160 watt light bulb, the wire will melt in two because of the gases in the air and all that. Kind of hard to explain here. But now, and I see if I put it on 6 volts, you'll see it dim down because you're reducing the voltage, which lowers the current through the wire. But that's 6 volts. That's 12 volts. Now, to demonstrate how a fuse works, I'm going to hook this, this smaller piece of wire. Well, it's the same size, but just a shorter piece. You'll notice this will glow a little bit less than this right now because this is adding more resistance to the circuit. Now, see it's starting to glow a little bit. Uh, now, if something happens on whatever you run and it decides to short out, uh, this will simulate a short circuit. Like this, and the fuse will melt in two. Just like that. That's how a fuse works. Catching the place on fire here. And your fuses come in different sizes and shapes. Your smaller fuses that are in older homes or these Edison type fuses. This is a 30 amp. And this one's a 20 amp. And that brings up another point. If your house has fuses and you blow a 20 amp fuse, a 30 amp fuse will screw into it, but don't do it because your wire ain't ready for 30 amps. It might just be ready for 20. So you always have to watch that. That's how a lot of houses burn down. People blame it on the fuses where it's their fault and they put the wrong type of fuses in. Now the newer type of fuses, S type, which have like a plastic thread and there's a strip of metal inside of it, they are interchangeable. You don't have to worry about that. And your other type of fuses, this is your old 60 amp bus fuses, which in newer breaker boxes, your main breaker took the place of these. There's always two of these coming into your fuse box. Then, in a lot of disconnects, like you've seen in my heater video, I call it a knife switch. It's a safety switch. You have these smaller bus fuses, which are 30 amp. And once again, these are interchangeable. Well, not these two. But you can get the same size as this in a 30 amp or a 200 or so on. And the same with these. You have to watch that the same as the other ones. But, well, I guess that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to make a video all, video for you all explaining how fuses and light bulbs work. If you got any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.